there's nothing more annoying. For many Pacific Islanders, poor phone and internet connectivity remains a daily frustration. The problem's widespread. Around 80% of the Federated States of Micronesia don't have 3G coverage, with more than half the population of Solomon Islands and Suvalu also going without. In Papua New Guinea, just 10% of people have an active mobile broadband subscription, compared to 75% of Fijians. It's a big disparity, and even those with a connection struggle with high costs and slow speeds. Access to the internet is considered vital to development. Technology has the power to transform island states and bring about positive change. It can help reduce poverty, create jobs, and improve access to healthcare, education, and other essential services. But connecting everyone in relatively small and widely dispersed Pacific countries is complicated. At the macro level, you're looking at the high capital cost, the cost for um, the, the initial investments of things like submarine cables and satellites. Over the past couple of decades, development partners have been funding and building undersea cables. These have thrust a number of Pacific Islands onto the information superhighway, offering faster speeds and higher bandwidths. But that's mainly to urban centres. With so many people living across islands, more infrastructure is needed to reach remote, low-density populations, and that's often left up to partners, governments, or telecom conglomerates. We lack financing for large-scale investments. So, could new technology finally help Pacific Islanders get connected? Enter satellite technology. It's really meant for sparsely populated uh, regions. Unlike cables, satellites provide internet from orbit, beaming information from a provider to a customer and vice versa. Satellite internet is proving an important backup for undersea cables, which are vulnerable to natural disasters. Tonga's 2022 volcanic eruption damaged its cable, which wasn't repaired for 18 months. Historically, satellites have been too slow and pricey to be competitive. But with the likes of Elon Musk's Starlink and other big tech driving innovation, that's beginning to change. With no conventional access to mobile data in his home village on Western Guadalcanal, Fred Tavuata installed a satellite system two years ago and a Starlink dish in the last few weeks. The high-speed internet it's delivered hasn't just helped his family and holiday retreat business, but revolutionised the lives of the entire community. We set up a kind of a little hub. I mean, most times the teachers from the nearby school will come and access internet at our place. Um, and also, we have even live stream games. You know, the recent World Cup, uh, the, um, the Soccer World Cup last year, we were having big screens um, down in the village. With the recent labour mobility scheme that's, uh, you know, um, happening everywhere in the country, I think that we can see family members sitting there uh, having video calls for, for, you know, like hours. For his own family, it's allowed his daughter to obtain an accounting degree from home. You know, you can do everything, study online uh, using these facilities and, and you can, maybe you can even graduate. Um, in the village. That was the vision for us, um, to actually get our kids to stay in the village. But with so much to gain, there can be downsides for families with lesser financial means. For some, it can mean the choice between buying data or food. You are really driving the divide between the ones who have the means to, to participate in the, the digital world and the ones who don't. So, you know, people here buying four-wheel drives, like cruisers, and those are also very expensive. Uh, but for us, the, the, the priority is communication because we see the benefit of that. For many, satellite internet is still prohibitively expensive. But experts believe with greater regional cooperation and appropriate regulation, the technology can help bridge the gap between the next generation of Pacific Islanders and the rest of the world.